I have a plot to start and a child to kill. Can I do something in the court? No, yeah, because he's not around. Look, there's an empty chair and I'm going to sit Uraka on that chair soon. Because I am going to execute him. He's going to be beheaded. Yikes. Or maybe I take this first. Maybe I take this first. A donation in good faith. My suffragan bishop Alonso has received a significant donation of gold from the estate of a wealthy but childless landholder now deceased. He claims the departed lived a very frugal and pious life and wished for the gold to go where it could do good. Suffragan Bishop Alonso insists that I receive part of the donation as I am a paragon. <laughs> I'm a sinner. I'm a paragon of Catholicism in Zamora. He is surely corrupted by Satan. Yeah, he is surely corrupted by Satan because he cannot even see the wrongdoing that Uraka has well done. Giving away God's wealth? Heretic. Oh, I kill him? No, he likes me now. He's paying me taxes. No. I do gain piety. I promise the gold will serve the realm this paragon deserves. The entire donation? <laughs> wow. Please give it to the poor in my name. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. It actually gives me more piety and I kind of want that to stop being a sinner. It's going to take a long time. And she's zealous. So yeah, she, she cares about the poor. She cares about the poor. Not about the nobles who don't, who don't understand the ways of her plans about killing everyone to unite everyone i mean yeah if she kills everyone everyone is going to be united because there's no everyone left right big brain okay let's give it to the poor you love languages <laughs> probably the reason why you're studying those i should kill him for the the dread stack <sighs> yeah, a, a bit of dread would be good. It would be good. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe. I, I was wondering why do I get more dread from killing a 55-year-old bishop than killing a six, a seven-year-old king. But then again, yeah, he's, he's a, a church person, so maybe uh, people get scared about that. But I think killing a seven-year-old is a bit more dreadful, no? Um, the only wrongdoing by Uraka was imprisoning King Alonso el Valiente primero de su nombre. I didn't imprison him. So everything you just said is wrong, but I'll read it anyway, because 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 I like reading that. The only wrongdoing by Raka was imprisoning King Rey Alfonso el Valiente, primero de su nombre, Rey de España, elegido por Dios, Salvador de Iberia, protector del reino, Rey de los Visigodos, los Vascos y los Mozarabes. Rompedor de luchas internas, padre de gigantes. Aren't you missing something? I, I think there were more things on that. <laughs> That's a lot of titles. <laughs> exactly, Alex. Exactly. Uh, you, you actually don't know, like, uh, I'm just rambling, keeping on that. Um, you don't know, but Uraka had two bastards with the late King Alfonso, her brother, who actually died uh, because she plotted for that. But the two kids are Fernando Jance, who you might have seen part of you might have seen part of this name in the chat. 
And the other son is Fernando Lucas, with a C, not a K, but I think you got the point. Um, so this is the giant one. <laughs> and they are they are her two bastard children, but they are probably not going to be bastards for too long. My brain is blocking the stream. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. What did I say again? The bastards. Padre de bebés escamorcos. I'm a bastard. Oh, so I'm not. I'm not going to kill him. Because I like the fact that he's paying a bit of money. On the other hand, yes, I'm. I'm going to be the queen soon. So who cares, right? I'm going to have a lot more money. Heretic. I'm going to kill him. Okay, done. I killed him. Alonso has passed away. I can no longer sway him. Oh, how bad. And let's kill Fernando II. Done. Am I the queen now? Am I the queen now? I am the queen now. I'm the queen. Look at her. Cool, cool. Let's move this away. Let's. I have not played a lot of this recently. Ah, here it is. Here she is. Looking absolutely amazing with my new archbishop. Who doesn't like me? But I don't care because I'm the queen and I now have a royal court and all those good things. All those great things. I changed my mind five times in the last two minutes. <laughs> That's me. That's me. I'm the most fickle CK3 player you could ever meet. I'm now a mighty queen. I am a queen. Well, out of context, this would sound weird. As queen, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm and letting your courtiers take part in, part in your daily routines. Mayor Manrique de Villafalfila is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps there is also some surprise in his eyes. He starts to unfold a beautiful banner bearing the emblem of House Jimena, one of the ways in which the world will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. I have taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. Let them see their new queen. I have already entered there. But let's, let's do it again for the drama. Hey, no one can see me. I'm too far away. I am too far away. So I have the artifacts now. Let's put stuff here. Sandals of Jesus. Piety plus 1.6. But that is like... <laughs> that is as much as I was getting by myself. And this is the, the, cool, the cool thing. I'm now the dynasty head so I can um, legitimize my bastards. Arm of St. George. More piety, court grandeur, cheaper, temple buildings. Now, wow, I have a lot of banners. They should all look the same, right? Yeah, this is because there was one for each king. So I got a new one and there was one for each of my brothers. I guess that's it. That's why I have so many. Um, so prestige plus point twenty. This is more renown. Guest opinion. Yeah, let's use the dynasty banner and then, then on the sides, two house banners. They all look the same, so it's actually looking nice. I mean, not a lot of artifacts, but it's looking nice. It is looking nice. 
and I have a scallop shell. The scallop shell marks its owner down as someone who has completed the arduous journey along the Camino de Santiago, which I didn't do, which I didn't do. More piety. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm making 4.4 a month, which is quite cool. You're still alive. Actually, so let, let's focus on on this first. Legitimize bastards. And I'm going to legitimize the two of you. Oh, I gain... I'm going to gain stress because of my bastards. No. No. Because I'm arrogant. Jeez. Welcome to the family. I have declared my son and heir, Fernando Jansay, to be my legitimate child and a member of House Jimena. It has taken me a lot of... not really. A lot of thought to arrive at this, at this conclusion. And while some might disagree, it was the right thing to do. Oh, and I have a weak hook on, on Fernando Jansay. Your future is bright, Fernando Hansay, Jimena. And now, without further delay, let's legitimize Fernando Lucas. And blah, 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 welcome to the family, Fernando Lucas. I don't have a favorite son. <laughs> I don't need to legitimize Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Read the chat. Wait, wait, wait. Stressful bastards. Just legitimize you, the firstborn. No, I have to do this. I have to do this. It's, it's, it's for safety, you know? If something happens to one of you, um, I'll be safe. I'll be safe. Uh, oh, I need to fill my court positions. My council positions. Let me just go here to, no, 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 to Zamora, which is still my capital, and Mayor Manrique. Eh, he's actually not great. I was thinking about keeping him as one of my counselors. But then again, I have quite a lot of powerful vassals that do not like me. That do not like me. And they are very skilled. They are quite skilled. Okay. Count Diego of Leon. Cynical, gluttonous. Well, Count Munio. No, he's going to be the, the marshal for sure. Yeah, Count Munio. He's going to be the marshal. Is zealous as I am. So, yeah, sure. And he's from Benavente which is a neighboring county. So yeah, let's keep the power close together. Let's assign him, which means if I think like that, it also makes sense to have Count Diego as the chancellor, because he's also a neighbor. Um, he is cynical, but yeah, he is good at, at his job. They still freaking hate me. Count of Vizcaya. A bit further away. But is by far the best steward I can have of the powerful vassals. I could go for Infante Nuno. Who is he, by the way? He's also a bastard of my family. Who is this guy? My grandfather. Oh, this is my uncle. You see? 
bastards do thrive in, in my family. They do thrive. If something happens to you, Shen Jensei, parents always say they don't have a favorite child, but not true. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I don't have a favorite. Now, now speaking about real life, I don't have a favorite. Um, but there are some things in which I think maybe it's also because she's the oldest and a bit more grown up. I kind of connect a bit more with, with my daughter, but yeah, my son is only four years old. So there's, there's not really that type of connection other than like, yeah, I, I'm his father is my son. I, I don't know if I'm, um, if I'm transmitting this properly, <laughs> transmitting, <laughs> definitely not the word to be, to be used here. Um, it's like, I don't favor her, but I feel like there's a little bit more of a connection with her. Uh, but probably just because she's older. Um, yeah, I don't know. And they do if, if you are their only kid. Um, committing suicide by being thrown off a cliff. <laughs> Unless their neighbors also have kids. <laughs> the bastardism are strong in my family. <laughs> bastardism is strong in my, fa in my family. But wait, is it my father first? What did you write? It's your father. My father has it. I have it. And my sister has it. Yes, it's you, Leia. What? Would actually Luke and Leia count as bastards? Because they were born. Oh no, but they were married. Okay, never mind. Anakin and Padme were married, so it doesn't count. Like, I'm... I've... Uh, this stream is going to be the most awkward thing ever. Spymaster. Duke Nuno of Portugal. Obviously. Obviously. That's not even a question. I'm gonna make the proto-Portuguese guy the Spymaster. He hates me anyway. He hates me. Yeah, they would be bastards in the eyes of the uh, at the eyes in the eyes of the Jedi Council. That's true. That is true because it was a secret marriage. Yeah. Transmission <laughs> received. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I, as I mentioned earlier, like I noticed such a huge difference between now and when I used to, um, to stream during the day. It's just a massive, massive difference. Let's sway the bishop because I want his money, even though I'm making 8.2 per month now. Okay, so I'm the queen. She, she does look kind of evil. She does look kind of evil. A lot of great traits, you see? A lot of great traits. Oh! Wait. Did she... She lost the other one. She had the Kinslayer trait, but that was replaced by the familial Kinslayer. Wasn't the other one worse? Like, I think the Dynasty opinion was minus 10 on the other one. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, so it's not terrible. And actually, my kids like me no more now. Because, oh, you see... You acknowledge the fact... Why is your future wife in prison? Are you serious? 
she was imprisoned by her own father? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <gasps> what? Um, okay, this, this is a bit worrying, and I'm not even looking at this yet. Oh, blackmail, really? 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 What the heck, Jensei? This is, this is your betrothed. And her father imprisoned her. Is there anything I can do? I can break the betrothal and murder her. God damn it. I obviously can't offer guardianship for... For her daughter, for his daughter, because she's in prison. She's in freaking prison. You wouldn't accept, probably, anyway. Oh, really? No, there's actually. Ah, yeah, there's actually something to inherit. Imagine being betrothed to an un Christian in CK. <laughs> No, so maybe you missed the explanation. So my point here was that um, Uraka was really bothered with the way the Catholics could not see the good things about her plan. So she thought, so if they don't understand me, I will uh, turn my eyes to the south and make myself befriend befriending or f friends of of the muslims and uh yeah so basically she she really got upset with with all the catholics and and this was kind of what was in her mind i don't know i don't know why are you asking me ask her An unbeliever. <laughs> Times change and now I'm queen and we can't have an unchristian queen in our realm. She's still zealous. She is still zealous. No, I, I'm not breaking the betrothal. I'm actually curious to see if she's going to let's I'll do it like I'll I'll do it like this. Um I'll keep the betrothal until Jansei comes of age. Fernando Jansei, I'm sorry. And if she's still in prison, then I'll, I'll break the betrothal. Uh, but this is also like basically the only alliance I have. Also, yeah. Now I don't really need the alliance anymore. I could say this was all political. I could say this is all political. <laughs> I can keep him from inheriting. By the way, let me just see the succession. How is it going to be? So Fernando Jansei is going to be my character. He keeps the kingdom of Castile, uh, Castilla and Leon. Are you... You just get the kingdom of Galicia. No counties. It's a bit of a tricky situation. It's a bit of a tricky situation you have there. Yeah, there's no law I can change. You would do the same. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Let's see the blackmail here. Um, to the vile Queen Uraka. I know that you are King Alfonso VI's real killer. 
If you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. Duke Ramon Berenguer, the old of Barcelona, is also freaking deceitful. He learned my secret. And yeah, he's definitely brave and stubborn because he had the nerve to do this. If I decline, I, I'm already a known murderer, so what do I care? It's just another one. It is just another one. <laughs> I'm going to decline. I'm the queen. I should actually get some dread from this. You know, because like people know, oh, she killed the king. I'm going to decline. Oh, this changed. It got rid of the familial kinslayer and brought the kinslaying thing back. And it's minus 10 on the close family opinion. Ah. Duke Ramon Berenguer of Barcelona has brought forth undeniable evidence of my role in the death of my brother, King Alfonso. <laughs> Mierda. I had hoped it would never come to this. A fool's mistake. Now I fear my entire dynasty will turn against me. I mean, it's not gonna get worse than it was before. I had my reasons. I lose one level of devotion. I'm already at the bottom, so yeah. Ah, but I do gain dread. Cool. I do. I'm at 58 now. I'm at 58 dread. So it actually works. I do gain dread from that. That is cool. Um, so. <clears throat> Duke Ramon. I think I'm going to throw a surprise party for you. And hopefully I can invite quite a lot of people to that party, including your marshal, Mayor Pagan of Olot. I can invite him. 117. I have money. I don't care. Also, one of your courtiers. 55, yeah, let's do that. I'm paused. I don't want to be paused because I want to... Yeah, I know. I was already a sinner. It doesn't change anything. Okay, this is at 94%. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. You... Messed with the wrong queen. You messed with the wrong queen. Who is going to inherit this? This is your son. You don't have any children. So after that... After that, this goes to... Another Ramon. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. <gasps> El Cid. I'm gonna go there in a bit. Nobles from all across the realm as have, have approached me as of late to share concerns, gossip, and openly hostile comments about my knight, Rodrigo El Cid Campeador. It is clear that the nobility dislikes my favorable treatment of Rodrigo and wishes to see this upstart knight banished from any commoner's attempt to follow in his footsteps. Rodrigo may have once been a noble himself, but now he is a self-made knight and a perceived threat to the social fabric of the realm. The decision is mine to make, but keeping Rodrigo around endangers my standing with the nobility. Wow. He is freaking awesome. He is freaking awesome. Rodrigo will continue to serve me regardless. I gain upstart knights. Minus 10 powerful vassal of me. Jeez. Let me actually do something in the council first. 
because I just noticed that. Uh, supports. No, actually, I'll keep it. I'll keep it like this because this is at 94, so no point in improving it. El Cid. Great hero. Nah, I'm gonna keep him. I am going to keep him. There is a fly around me. Um, perhaps showing on stream as well. I need to start a, a, a murder plot against the fly. Um, this is actually not great to have minus 10 powerful vassal opinion. They'll like me even less, but yeah, let's, let's do that. He doesn't like me still. <laughs> so many bad things Uraka has done in the past. The Borders of Faith. My vassal Count Rodrigo approaches me in private with clear doubt in his eyes. He explains to me that his faith is faltering due to his time spent guarding the border against Mualadi. Muwaladism? Muhaladism, yeah. And fraternizing with the enemy. His words are not in jest. It feels as if the slightest mistake could push him away from God. Yet, this is an opportunity to strengthen our fervor as well as our relationship. Threaten to denounce him as a heretic? More dread is good, right? More dread is good. I will reignite his fervor myself. There's a big chance this fails. Can I then request his conversion again? He's probably going to say no. Pick any faith so long as you serve me. You might become my friend. And there's only a 50% chance of him picking Muhaladism. Someone call a priest. I think I will tell him to... Uh, yeah, no, it's not in character. Mordred <laughs> or Mordred. <laughs> um, I could do that and I gain a weak hook, which she would like, probably, I guess. He's a freaking adulterer as well. I mean, he's lustful. Do I want this guy as my friend? Not really. This would probably be the, the most logical option. Try to reignite his favor myself. But it might fail. And he might become my rival. Yeah, let's do that. It failed. And he converted. I can demand this conversion back. Let's not do that. Let's, let's let him do that for now. Romance, declaration of love. The clang of weapons and excited cheers draw me towards the courtyard. What is going on? I find two armored warriors engaged in a vigorous sparring match. Both of them have undoubtedly been tested on the field of battle. With a final reckless assault, one of the fighters disarms the other. To my surprise, he kneels before me and takes off his helmet. It is my courtier, Fernando. I dedicate this victory to you, Queen Uraka, he says solemnly. Bringing you honor is my only desire. I don't care about men. I don't want anything with, with men. I still feel betrayed by them. I abandon this foolish endeavor immediately. 
and she's chased. She's not interested in, in any of that. Oh, a guardian for Fernando Lucas. If I recall correctly, I have Fernando Jansey being educated by a person of a, a different culture, an Asturo Leonese. And I actually selected the option to change his culture. As again, I was not liking the Castilian nobles. Should I do something similar with Fernando Lucas? I could, I could try to send him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> so let me let me look at the map. Wow, this is too white. There's a lot of snow. Where the heck is Vienna? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> it's more towards this side, right? Oh, God damn it! I cannot find it. <laughs> I cannot find it. <laughs> I cannot find it. Where is it? Jesus. I'm... I'm... There's grass here. Freaking hell. Linz. Where is it? No, this is Linz. This, this is red something different. I was on it. I'm having a deja vu. I'm having a deja vu because... I've had this before. I was looking for where... Uh, Aki lives and I was hovering the mouse over it I know but I cannot see the letters <laughs> Jeez. oh it's here it's here okay I found it you could have said close to the border you could have said that so who is the Baron here Ooh. this belongs to Duke Turns the Impaler? And he's a torturer? Do I really want to ask that? I'm not, not even sure I can. I can. I can offer a word. Wait, who is still around? Who's still around? Ah, the, the family, the house. I see, I see. The unicorn falls before the bow. I mean, yeah. If you can strike it, it, it should. He's a good guy. It's okay. Offer words. Where are you? Fernando Lucas Urraces. You are going to be... Wait, you're being educated. You're curious. So it's either learning or diplomacy. That's what makes more sense. You are far better at, at learning than you are at diplomacy. And this went away. Uh, damn it. Where was it? Where was it? Here. To offer words. Let's go with Fernando Lucas. He's good at intrigue, but yeah, I don't care. I mean, it would make sense to have the Duke himself being the, the guardian. So I'm going to choose the Duke. He's going to accept this. Now, do I screw the game even more and, and actually convert the culture? <laughs> Should I do that? Is Franconian. Screw it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Because in my mind, I mean, I kind of see it. If, if a kid goes at six years old, if a kid goes to a foreign court and if he spends 10 years there, it's only natural that 
he changes his culture. Actually, the culture there is Bavarian, but the character himself is Franconian. So yeah, send proposal. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that. It will change his views and traditions. Yes, yes. Oh no, no what? No what? While you hold the kingdom of Galicia, it is clear to everyone that it is I who govern it. It's many plains and villages are overseen by, by my bailiffs and my magistrates. Therefore, I'm laying claim to it. You are welcome to grant the title to me whenever you wish. Else, I am sure that it will fall to me in due time, one way or another. Um... Yeah, like, it definitely isn't doing well. It definitely isn't doing well. I have let Nunu grow too strong. He got an unpressed claim on the Kingdom of Galicia. It doesn't have any alliances. Huh. Challenge to board game. Can I? I could revoke his title. I could modify his vassal contract. As a punishment. We are happy to accept your proposed education arrangement. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. You see? You have a noble spirit. You shall be right back. You do that. You do that. I will still, still be around. See you in a bit. Um, excellent. So, Fernando Lucas is going to Vienna to be educated. Hopefully properly. Hopefully properly. I'll go there in a bit. Can I... Do anything about learning languages? No, I have no control about that. Because, oh, I have no core tutor. Would, would I be able to have him learning languages from my core tutor, even if he's not at my court? That would be weird. But hey, let's test that. I kind of have the money now. Wait, I have a lot of people here. So my court physician is excellent, Diego de Carrion. I have a poor antiquarian, a good uh, food taster who unfortunately doesn't really like me that much, but that might be problematic. Uh, my high almoner Alfonso is average at that. Lady in waiting? I've never seen this. A lady in waiting is an assistant and companion to a queen or empress. So maybe that's why I never saw it, because I haven't played as a female character in such a long time. Um, attending to her every need and fulfilling every whim. Ha! Huh. Lady in waiting. Maria. Does anyone like me? No. She's potentially the... <laughs> potentially the only one. Uh, let me see by rank. No, I was thinking if I could have my sister be that person. Opinion of me. Marina. She's compassionate. Lazy. Content. Insightful thinker. Not dangerous. But Maria would be an excellent one. Temperate, gregarious, arbitrary, renowned physician. 
Would she be a better... No, she wouldn't. Not a better court physician. Lady in waiting. Yeah, let's have Maria. Maria. Asturo Leonez. So, yeah, the the culture I'm converting Jansei to. Let's appoint her. Good. Wait, I can have more than one? Oh, I can have more than one. I don't want more. Core tutor, that's what I was looking for. Domingo. Forty-one years old, patient. <laughs> Is everyone lazy? Lazy and insightful thinker. Uh, yeah, you can become my court tutor, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Let's appoint him. What did you miss? You're in bad. So if you... <laughs> <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. That happens to me a lot. That happens to me a lot. Um, what did you miss? So I, I discovered that there's this thing. Uh, there's this court position for queens and empresses, which is a lady-in-waiting, which is basically a companion, an assistant to, to the queen that attends to her needs. Um, so I hired a, I hired one. It, she still makes a powerful agent against me, which yeah, considering that nobody likes me, maybe it's a bad idea to have one. But hey, it it sounds sounded cool, and I wanted to to check if having a court uh, tutor. Hi, me, Rosie. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I appreciate it. Thank you. How are you doing? Attends to my <laughs> to my needs. I mean, no, Uraka doesn't have those needs. She's chaste. She's just she she doesn't care about carnal stuff. Only with with her former lover, her late brother, poor him. Uh, what was I going to do? Ah, so Lucas is away. <laughs> yeah, this is a a blatant miss because I can have him studying a language even though he's currently in Austria. But I can have him learning from my court, my court tutor. Actually, this is not even my court tutor. This guy is Swabian, but he's in Zamora. Where did he come from? I have no clue. Do the Swabians speak High German? They do. Do I need to have him learning High German? He should learn it, right? Because he's going to become Franconian, so he's going to learn High German. Will he then unlearn Spanish or Iberian? I'm curious about that. I'm curious about that. But wait, if I choose Castilian. Ah, there's no language. Okay, okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. No. Ah. I see. So the study target. Is going to be the tutor right my brain is so not working today 
But everyone basically speaks the same thing, except for an echo. Aha! But only Fernando Jansay can learn this. So Fernando Lucas cannot. Hmm. Okay. Who else do I have? Do I have someone from a different culture? No, it's basically everyone. Speaking Iberian. Can I check by language? No. Yeah, there's the Swabian guy here. So technically... Aha! Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to have Jansei learning High German. And then you two can talk together. Yay! Hooray! Yeah, if you get the culture, you'll speak it. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Like, you shouldn't unlearn Spanish, but you won't have the culture, and that's technically what gives you that at the moment. The study language and... At the same time, can I also learn the language? I can't. How do I learn a language? How do I learn a language? Maybe I oh maybe I need to wait for this to like start or something. There's this murder secret tunnel. My agent Berenguer approaches me with a bunch of parchment clutched in his hands. I find found old architectural sketches of the Duke's castle. They might be a bit outdated, but look here. Murder gains progress. You gain hidden nooks and crannies. Yeah, let's get this. If only I had this many hidden places, call my architect. So I want to... But I cannot do that. How do I do that? How do I learn a language? Ah, no, wait, it's not on my character. So I need to go to that courtier of mine. The one who speaks high German. So Reynold. Reynold. Oh, there's a Bavarian one as well. A peasant leader? What the heck is this guy doing here? So you pick Swabian or Bavarian. Who should teach me? Uh, you probably identify more with Swabians. Uh, with Bavarians, I guess. Bavarian. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to him and learn language. 32%. That sucks. That sucks. Maybe because his learning is not too high. I don't know if that makes a difference. Why is it 30? No, it's only... My learning and my archbishop's learning? Why does that make any sense? Why does the archbishop actually have something to do with this? Um, your court grandeur is below what is expected. I'm, I'm treating my courtier so poorly. So poorly. So, we are going to have endless servi servants. Because that actually makes sense in, a, in an intrigue-focused fo court, which is my type of court. Let's go with that. Loads of servants. Apply and I'm not going to change anything else. Still bland food. <laughs> and minute lodgings yeah let's go with that apply change 
let's not abuse over abuse the the court grander system okay that's nice now throne room i have a few events here a courtier scorns so this is between my court tutor domingo and christina who is an irrational ravener why would you honor that cur domingo with a position at court and not me my courtier Christina is livid. Apparently she had been certain that the honor would befall her and no one else. Uh, because you have no proper skills? And he's actually kind of decent? So yeah, if you're gonna just like this... I should start paying you, and she becomes my court jester. Hooray! Hooray, I'll have a court jester who absolutely hates me. So she's probably going to throw some tomatoes at me. Fernan and El Cid. A healthy rivalry between metalsome fighters is to be expected, but the growing discord between Rodrigo and Fernan is soaring, souring the mood at court. Rodrigo is widely regarded to be more skilled, but Fernand clearly takes issue with the assertion. In the middle of an audience, the latter bursts into my throne room and, clutching his sword hilt, cries, Rodrigo! Only one of us can claim to be the queen's most skilled knight. Meet me outside and I will settle the question. Rodrigo replies ruthlessly, I would cut you to pieces where you stand if it was not for the presence of my lady. You persevere. Pop doodle? You perverse, not to persevere. You perverse fop doodle. Doodle. Apologize and I may spare your life. I better act quickly if this escalation is to be halted. Tomatoes aren't... Nobody needs to know that. Please. Lucas. <laughs> May my best knight win. So let's see. El Cid has 23. Oh. I don't want to potentially lose one of them. Oh, they're not going to fight to the death. Arr, so... Take their swords, give them training blades. I don't know, no. Fernand is killed. Yeah, they fight to the death. No. I will humble both of you. You are on the same side. Would she have fun with this? Being arrogant. Would an arrogant person... Or would she humble the two of them? Oh no! I, w <laughs> I would fight... No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Although I do have 12 prowess, but I, I cannot beat Elsid. I will... N I cannot beat Elsid. So I would spend prestige, gain court humiliation. No, I'm not going to do this. Take their swords, give them training blades. Yeah, let's be sensible with this. Let's be sensible with this. Uh, what happened then? I don't know what happened. LCD is our champion. Absolutely. Let me just see if i don't know if they already fought oh <gasps> he actually lost he actually lost 
Fernand was the winner. El Cid lost. And he's now wounded. I hope the court physician actually takes care of him. I am in shock. I am in shock. Maybe I could have beaten El Cid. <sighs> he is our champion, but he, he lost. Imagine if I had allowed them to, to keep the blades. Good thing I didn't. Good thing I didn't. Passing suspicion. It is a well-known fact that, the courtier, that courtiers will scheme and plot. But I may be able to use this to my advent. Sorry. To my advantage. If I can keep my courtiers suspicious of each other and distracted with infighting, they will not have the time or resources to scheme against me. I will begin spreading rumors at once. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. As long as I place some spies among them, I will be safe and I gain court spies, which is cool. My courtiers already know not to plot against me. Because I have high dread and also because I'm arrogant. Yeah, I, I would feel inclined to go to this option. Yeah, let's go with that. Overhyped Sith, absolutely, absolutely. I I'm, cannot believe that he actually lost this. Oh, but he's already treated. So my my court physician already treated him. Um, hello, Shaman. How are you doing? Virtual politics. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Isn't it well, actually not ridiculously late? Not ridiculously late for you. Is is it one or two hours difference between us? I'm not sure now. 2 a.m. Okay, okay. So two hours difference. <laughs> you won't be too long. Understandable, understandable. No, but it's nice to see you around. Nice to see you around. Um shame on me for not actually streaming very often lately but yeah it's not been easy it's not been easy learn language an amorous misunderstanding and so the queen discussed the recent reduction of gold minted in the realm with the council meanwhile to proceeded to i looked up startled from the high german book only to notice a flushed nuno leaning over me wait is this no, this is not guy, the guy I'm learning German from. Oh my, is that High German you are speaking, he says. You know, High German is the language of love. <laughs> and if I did not mishear, you just called me a saucy stag, you paragon, you. <laughs> oh, and... Lukas, I have to say... I think German is the least language of love there can be. Maybe not the least, but... <laughs> you still got classes tomorrow, only at 11, so, so you're still good. <laughs> Speaking of sleep, you're going to sleep now. You kind of want to keep your schedule. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. The Germans are known for the love. No, that is the Italians. You, all you have to do is speak like this, and you are a proper Italian. Or is it the French? I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps it's the French. The French have uh, a good way to, to speak the lovely words. You would also wager that there are some languages that are more romantic than German. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, they are known for love, but less romantic. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, Lukas, you sleep well. Thank you so, so much for being around. I really, really appreciate you being here for, for this long. And I mean, 
I'm sorry I only played like two in-game years so far. I've, I've been chatting a lot and pausing a lot, but uh, I mean, it's part of streaming, right? It's part of streaming. Bye-bye, man. Stay safe. Um, yes, yes, of course, I did. That's exactly what I meant to say. No, I'm not going to say that. You lay with Nuno. That's it. That's it. He implies that I called him a saucy stag and we go to bed immediately. No, I'm chased. I'm not interested. No, no, this is all a misunderstanding or big gun. <laughs> oh, I love this. Big gun fornicator. I must focus. Is a hunchback. Is hunchback. Yeah, no. Look at the lustful guy. Be gone, fornicator. Go, shush. Go away. I could hold a royal court, right? Titles can be created. Do I have any duchy? I don't. Maybe I should create some duchy. I should create some duchies. Why not? Do I have the money for that? I do not have the money for that. So I will not create anything. I'm not endorsed by my archbishop. I'm swaying him. Am I? <gasps> no, I'm not. I'm not swaying him. Pro probably I was before starting learning German. But I need, need to learn German because my son is going to learn German. So I want to connect with him. Uh... So, council minus 30. That is quite a lot. No. No, 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 no. Screw it. I don't need his money. I do not need his money. Begone, fornicator is, is now added to, the, to your list of insults and you will be choosing it actively. <laughs> I mean, you see... We can learn stuff, useful stuff with, with video games. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about a great deal he struck with a fancy lord in pearls and silk. Apparently he drew a map of the local plains for an unknown nobleman. The spies think the lord must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. That idiot belongs in my dungeon. Yeah? Spitko? A Polish lowborn. That's just his name. Like <laughs> this this person probably lived his entire life in the street. He never had a family. Yeah, he doesn't have a family. He doesn't know where oh, that's sad. That's sad. Spitko. What even is what even is that name? Um, but yeah, you're going to my dungeon. You are going to my dungeon. Who is Antonino de Arroyolos? And why is he in my prison? Oh, he was a peasant leader, probably against the former king. He's Castilian, but Mozarabic. The guy would be a great knight, actually. Negotiate release. Demand conversion and recruit. And he would be fine with that. At the same time, he would hate me. But he might be a good knight. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Watch your step now, Antonino. Can you even be a good commander? New lifestyle perk. Hmm. 
Murder scheme plus 30% power. Not that I've been needing it. But yeah, soon Duke Ramon Berenger will suffer the consequences of uh, blackmailing me. To my surprise, Count Vela has corresponded with my counselors to arrange for a day by myself to take off some of the pressure I have been under. In the end, I spent it following a suggestion from Vela himself, far away from demanding courtiers and counselors, allowing for a rare moment of peace. I needed this. Oh, that's nice. Wow, he actually... He actually takes... The guy is in love with me. For sure. For sure. He actually takes a 40 stress penalty. Just for me. That's love. That's love. That's what you expect from, from your other half. <laughs> That take that they take stress hits for you. I needed this. Aw. Just so nice. He still doesn't like me. He still doesn't like me. Hey. What can you do, right? What can you do? <sighs> the mayor of roses joined the scheme. Yeah, let's let's just complete that. The Coasteds, my agents have scheduled a journey for Duke Ramon Berenger, which will take them through dark woods. All that is missing is the band of thugs that will tragically slay them in a highway robbery gone wrong. I can already imagine blood seeping into the dark soil. Oh, the woods can be such a dangerous place. And Duke Ramon, will you pay the price? You just did. The thugs did their job and Duke Ramon is no more. As the travel party stopped to camp for the evening, bandits poured out from among the trees, calling the blood and gold, or blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it was not enough. Duke Ramon was tragically, oh, tragedy, was tragically slain in the melee. Conveniently, most of the bandits were slain in the fighting and the dead do not speak. No one will ever know of my involvement. Ha! Huh, perhaps commoners are not so useless after all. You see, you paid the ultimate price, old man. You old prick. I mean, I'm an old man myself, right? But I don't blackmail people. I arrived in Zamora to pay homage to you, glorious queen, as a show of my loyalty. I hope my pledge of submission alone is evidence enough of my honor. Show Count Diego in at once. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Count Diego, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference, offering nothing but his oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of the kingdom. At last I bid the Count arise, confirming my satisfaction in Diego's rights to the lands he rules in my stead. Serve me well, Count Diego. Serve me well. You see, you see she's going to spend her entire life without a husband. I think it's the first time I do this. Oh, Spitko died. He was ill in the dungeons. What a shame. What a shame.